Hi, how are you? Yeah, good, how are you? I've got an appointment with Jordan. Yeah, that's me, how can I help? Oh, I'm Jordan, I'm Amanda, I spoke to you on the phone earlier today. Oh yeah, about the test drive booking you had with me? Yes. Awesome, awesome. So you wanted to test drive the ZSEV? Yes, yeah, I I've just got the vehicle just out here. Excellent, One through. thank you. Awesome, here's the vehicle here. Hop in the passenger seat and we'll just go for a quick drive. So Amanda, feel free today to ask me as many questions as you want about the ZSEV so I can look after you today. We'll start the vehicle up, just your foot on the brake, push the start in there, and it'll tell you it's ready on the screen there, all good to go. Now, getting into gear, just sim very simple, just slightly different to any automatic. You've got a dial here, you can turn that into drive, then that will automatically take your parking brake off there for you as well. So I don't need to touch the park, um, the uh, brake or anything to no, release it? No, no, you don't need it. So you just have your foot on the brake and then release that there and you're all good to go. Fantastic. Awesome. We'll head on out. <laughs> Excellent. So just to give you an idea, um, how um, when the battery's fully charged, mm. how long will that give me or, or on kilometre side of it? Yeah, yeah. So the battery, when it's fully charged, you'll get 263 kilometres out of a full charge. Mm -hmm. So there'll be plenty for, for local as well. Do you live, work locally around here, Amanda? Look, I actually uh, work in the Ipswich area, so I live locally, but I do oh, do a lot okay, of driving. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah of, of course. Well, I'm sure whatever driving you do throughout the day, as long as you plug it in when you charge it at home, mm -hmm. you, can, you can do that, no worries. So how many kilometres, um, like most of these about takes me about three quarters of an hour. Yep. Is it easy enough for me to um, charge while I'm at work at all? Yeah, you can you can charge while you're at work. So it comes with a charger as well. Right. So you can you can charge it at work. So you, yeah, while you're working. You so what's involved with charging it though? Do I need some special attachments or something? No. So the vehicle comes with it with a slower charger as such, where you can put a bit of juice in it while you're mobilely you plug that into any power socket as well. And then you can get a, a home charger installed at your home that does it a lot quicker overnight and that is all. But that it is an option that you, you can get if you want to or not. Okay. And I've also just been doing some reading about there's an app or something that get, notifies me there's some charges close by. Yeah, yeah. So there's two apps that we mainly use for our EVs. There's PlugShare and ChargeFox for any local charging stations just so you can get some juice quicker as well. So they can do it up to 45 minutes for a full charge very quickly for you too. Oh, so fantastic. Okay, I'm assuming that they must obviously cost me the Yeah, charge. yeah, yeah. Very, very, very cheap though compared to, to fuel. You generally, a full tank of fuel will cost you about 80 bucks. A full charge of these will cost you about 15 bucks or so. So very, oh, wow. very cheap. Okay. Or yeah. you go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it sounds quite easy then. Exactly, exactly. Very simple and easy for you. There's a whole range of charges that they're even releasing every day. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of charges around um, for you. No worries. Yeah. Gee, I really noticed how quite smooth the drive is. Yeah, it is. And it's very quiet. There's all this, this no road noise as such. A very, very quiet vehicle as well. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Well, they've certainly made it quite well that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Okay. So just to help me a little bit here, um, what's all this here? Yeah, yeah. So, so in here, if you've got your infotainment system as well, so you have a built-in sat nav. So say, like if you do do a longer trip if, uh, as well, you can navigate very easily, just like that for you too. So um, the system, you can put in new routes as well, and that'll navigate you. No worries. Okay, fantastic. So I can obviously. Um sync my phone in as you, well. Yeah, you can pair your phone up, you can get phone calls through as well. So if yep, someone's yep. calling, you can answer or decline that very easily and that will display that up here for you as well. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So Amanda, before you ask me about the charging options, I'll just show you how easy it is to charge. So you just pop this one to start like this. You've got a weatherproof plug that you pull out just like that as well. So quite easy. So everything's just plugged in here and yep. then through the different charging um, cables, cables well. that you give. Okay, well, that seems quite easy. So we'll have a look under the bonnet here, Amanda. As you can see, no engine. Wow, impressive. Yeah, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, so there's no oils or anything like that. I can't see anything here or radiator or such. No, no, no. So it's a lot simpler to, to maintain as well. So when they do your services, it's a lot easier there too. So what do they actually do at the service end then to give you more of an idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in, in your service, I'll make sure, check over the whole vehicle, make sure there's nothing gone wrong. See so nice and safe there on the road. 
Also, because you're doing it at an MG dealer, they'll plug it in into the computer and do all the diagnostics on the vehicle there too. Oh, excellent. Okay. And the battery is in here or? Yeah, no, it's actually located under the base of the vehicle. So you have a lower center of gravity there too. And it is a big, big battery. So they need a nice, easy spot to fit it there for you. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah. That sounds great. So I'll show you guys through the boot of the vehicle. It's just all open through the logo here. You pop that up there. Just Easy. like that. Oh, fantastic. It's a nice big boot space there for you as well. Okay. So you, can, you can fold the seats down there too. And whereabouts do I do that? Yeah, so there's a, just on through the back here, there's a cable you just pull up and you can fold them down just like that as well. Oh, brilliant. So that'll give me heaps of room, especially too on the weekends when I go and do a little bit of golf with my uh, partner. That's perfect. It. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. And underneath? Yeah, so underneath here. So there's no spare tire in these as well. You've just got your charging cable and all of that there too as well. So what's this all for? What would you yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is the charging cable that you can plug in the vehicle, or the front of the vehicle, just like I showed you before. Then in here, you've got a compressor and your goop for the tires. So rather than being a spare tire, mm -hmm. you just put that in the into the tire and it'll get you to your closest mechanic to then change the tire for you. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So it sounds like a very easy maintenance more than anything. That's it. That's it. That's what the EVs are all about. Mm -hmm. And what's this if you don't mind me? Yeah, yeah. So this is, if you ever need to, if you ever break down for the instance, you can pull this out and it's like a reflective sort of cone, like a traffic cone behind your vehicle there as well for okay. you. Well, they've yeah. certainly thought of everything. That's it. That's it. Keep you nice and safe if you ever get stuck off on the road as well. And I really do like a little bit of extra storage. So if you ever do need a little bit of extra space, you've got that there as well. That's it. you got that as well. So there's a lot of storage in the back That's my Prosecco when I can pop that in the side. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> So to move the um, steering wheel is just the normal. Underneath. Yeah, so there's just a release underneath there that you've mm -hmm. got released, so you can pull it up and down, and then to just lock it back in, you pull it up just to lock it nice and tight through oh. there too. That's so excellent. you're all comfortable in your seat. Yep, and electric. Electric seats. on your side there as well, nice and convenient. Absolutely, <laughs> that is something I that's a big tick in the box yeah. for me already. Awesome, okay. awesome. So starting the vehicle up, just your foot on the brake, mm -hmm. and then push the start just there to go. So it'll take just one second, it'll come up on the screen and it'll say ready, just like that. Awesome. Now, getting into gears, very simple again, easy as. So you've got a dial here, you're probably used to a, to a gear lever as yes, such. Yes, I am. Awesome, awesome, all good. So it's very simple, easy to use. With your foot on the brake, you just turn it to which gear you want to go to. So you've got reverse, neutral and drive. And drive, yes. Yeah. So if you wanted to turn it into drive, it's all the way to the right. Okay. Reverse, all the way to the left. And just before we go, can I ask, what are these three gadgets yeah, here? Yeah, of course. So these are three buttons here that you can access a few things of the vehicle. So you've got your different drive modes. So you can click up to go into different modes there too, or down into eco, normal or sport as well. Okay, so I, if you could just let me know a little bit more about that. I, I yeah, hear about the eco normal. Of, of course. Mm. No, no, no worries. So so in eco, it's pretty much, you're going to save a lot more juice because it doesn't, it takes a lot more throttle to, to put the power down as such. So it's not going to use as much energy there as well. Same with normal, a little bit more. And then sport, you could be flapping the throttle around, no worries. <laughs> okay, and that's obviously going to use more power. That's it, that's um, it. In the, in the battery yep. sooner than, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, so you have obviously more performance and sport, more, and then consume more, more energy there as well. So on your curse, you've also got, this is for your regenerative braking there as well. Have you heard much about that? No, I haven't. No, oh, okay, okay. So very, very simple. So so pretty much any time you're off the accelerator there, it will actually, the engine will brake and put charge back into the battery so you can last your range a lot longer. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sounds so great for the environment. Yeah, of course. No emissions on the vehicle as well. It's, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the battery. And the battery. So you click the button just there and it shows up on the, on the screen here what your range is to empty there as well. So you're always aware of, of how far you've got left to go. Okay, so the current speed, so if I click on that, yep. it's telling me my range is 102 kilometres. That's it, yep, yep, so 102 kilometres left. Okay, so that's fantastic, so especially when I'm working a little bit further distance away, up yep. and down 
the motorway, um, I can obviously get a better idea how much I need to charge at home or if I need to do, have an idea of finding a um, charging station. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, so mm. you can always keep an eye on your range so you're never caught out or, or run out of charge anywhere for you there as well. Absolutely brilliant. And it's quite easy. Um, you've got how fast you're going. Yep. And then obviously... On the right there is, is, yeah, on the right is, is how much power percentage is, is, is being put down. So pretty much you can always see how much um, power is being used out of the vehicle there too. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's see let's see how I can drive this. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get moving. So, <clears throat> so turn it all the way to the right there for you into drive. Uh, so like it lights that. up. Yeah, so it lights up there and then the parking brake will automatically come off for you there too. Fantastic. Awesome. So off we go. Too easy, off we go. You've got your seatbelt on. Get all seated safety. <laughs> My mare is the right. Awesome. This is so smooth and just takes off brilliantly. That's it, that's it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm and really you feel coming off throttle, it, it does it does break a bit heavier there for you. Mm-hmm. being electric is so much easier. Nice and convenient for yes, you especially. Now if I feel as though there's a little bit too much glare coming in through the sunroof here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there something that I can try to... Oh, oh yeah, right. So indicators are on the left as well. Yes. Yeah, so you can you can open the sunroof there as well. Nice and easy, easy for you there too. By the push of a button simply up here for you. You can get all nice and open. Oh. Nice and wide for you there as well. Oh, fantastic. Well, that sounds really nice and easy. Yeah. So you've got your glass sunroof here as well for you, so you can open that up halfway there too. If you want to let some air out, nice and breezy for you. There. That's perfect, especially when I'm just going around locally, around my yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really finding this is absolutely beautiful and smooth. I, I really am quite amazed, to be honest, how well it drives. Yeah, yeah. No, well, that's one major thing about the EVs, is how smooth the drive is. It's, very linear there's just one gear so it's just on or off throttle there too and I notice when I'm taking my foot off the brake just gradually mm -hmm. it actually slows down quite immensely for itself yeah 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 oh, that's sorry it. when I take my foot off the accelerator, accelerator. accelerator sorry. <laughs> that's all right yeah yes. so when you take your foot off the accelerator it does start to brake the vehicle mm -hmm. and that will then put charge back into the battery so you can last longer okay and that's for the gadget so this is actually a dream to drive yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> and it's so more economical for me, um, or for myself, um, especially when I need to do the, you know, run around with the kids too on the weekend for sports as well. Mm. And it saves me going into the petrol station. So what do you think of the vehicle? Yeah, I was really impressed. I was actually quite taken back, to be honest with you, Jordan. Yep. Um, I was amazed, to be honest with you. That's I have cool. driven a couple of others, um, but certainly not to this... Um, how smooth it was, how easy it is to look after, yeah. and obviously the price side of it is obviously um, extremely attractive as well in the energy range. 